very special about the shearing shed. The sights, the smells, the language and the work code are unique. Wool is the country's largest production industry. The 1989 clip was about one million tonnes. It's also an industry steeped in tradition. But technology won't be swept aside for much longer. The winds of change are beginning to blow down on the farm. While the number of sheep in Australia is increasing every year, there's about 180 million at the moment, there isn't a corresponding rise in the number of shearers. The inevitable result will be a severe shortage of shearers in future peak seasons. Well, an Adelaide company has entered the market with its version of what shearers will look like in the 21st century. The time it sees when the shearing shed will become the shearing factory. Until you see it, the concept is hard to envisage. A robot with the dexterity to shear a sheep? In this hypothetical shed of tomorrow, the sheep are firstly coaxed into a race where the old gives way to the new. A lifter loader mounts the animal on what's called the shuttle. The head and legs are placed in restraints. A small electric current then immobilises the sheep. It might look uncomfortable, but it's probably preferable to physical handling, and there are no after-effects. With further advancements to the robot, the stock still immobiliser will be phased out by the time the system reaches production. Everything is now prepared for the robotic floor show. It's worth the admission price. The two multi-jointed arms of the robot conduct a meticulously choreographed dance from head to tail down the back and flanks of the sheep. The joints are quite conventional, but the method employed to achieve such clean sweeps of the cutter is highly innovative. A small amplitude high frequency current flows between the sheep and the robot, measuring the resistance of the comb to the skin surface. Sensors on the sheep's tail and in the cutter head control the distance to ensure a smooth shave, just like those razor commercials. Two force gauges on the robot act as a safety net. At no time is the sheep in danger of being accidentally cut. The robot was first mooted in the mid-70s, but it was years later before development of the project began. An Adelaide firm, Merino Wool Harvesting, now has this fully operational prototype. So impressed was another Australian company, Elders Pastoral, it injected more than five million dollars in 1987 to help commercialise the technology. I think the biggest question mark before you see the robot in use is just how sensitive is it to the contours of the sheep's body. On a car assembly line, all the parameters are firmly and permanently established, but with sheep, it's a different story. But as you can see, the proof is in the shearing. There are virtually no nicks and cuts, and the job is comparable to that of any good shearer. Another outstanding feature of the system is that at no stage does the fleece come into contact with the floor, which ensures that contamination, a big problem in the industry, is kept to a minimum. A year of intensive field trials are underway in the sort of conditions that shearers, not robots, are accustomed to. The electronics and the formidable computer power that drives the system will be given a warm and dusty reception in sheds similar to this one at Yankalilla. The most important thing is reliability. Uh, the product's designed to shear 300 sheep or thereabouts every eight hour shift, per eight hour shift. And it's also designed to work multiple shifts. So it has a capacity of 100,000 sheep or more than that every year. Apart from time and money, automation will help quality control, improving the clip preparation without compromising the human element. Our, our product and its variations will be filling gaps that are already uh, emerging. It's not as if we're not going to be putting shearers out of a job. While the robot continues shearing the next sheep, the main fleece is removed, checked for any contamination and placed into the press bin. The shearers thus add the skills of wool classing to their repertoire. This is a sort of cheap equivalent of a hair salon, where Madam has her less precious coat removed by the expert hands of Neil and John. The chair has adjustable height and tilt controls, as well as a swivel mechanism. Here is where the shearer really reaps the benefits of the new technology. 
with none of that back-breaking effort you see in a conventional shed. For both sheep and shearer, the stress levels are significantly reduced. From start to finish, the automated line is shearing a sheep every 100 seconds. Further trials and refinements should reduce the time even further. It's interesting to compare the reaction to the introduction of the first mechanical shearing system in Australia just over 100 years ago. The Sydney Morning Herald canvassed the issue by saying that the introduction of machinery would render the employment of expert shearers unnecessary because anyone of ordinary intelligence could learn to shear with the new device in just a few days. Australians are particularly proud of their traditions and it's unlikely that this one will ever be lost altogether. But what is likely is that in 20 or 30 years when blokes like Robin and Chris are having their lunch break, they'll also be programming the robot for the afternoon flock of Marinos.